NK Telco Sports welcomes you to our coverage of high school basketball. We are at the Hive in Sydney where the West Carrollton Pirates will take on the Sydney Yellow Jackets. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Winner's Meats, Grand Lake Health Systems, Cargill, and NK Telco. My name is Craig Louth. I'll be calling play-by-play and alongside me tonight, my partner, Mr. Jeff Henschen. And Jeff, top two teams in the Valley Division of the Miami Valley League. Uh, West Carrollton won the league last year. And so we ought to be in for a pretty good ball game tonight. Yeah, an early season test. These two teams will meet again as everyone plays everyone twice. But both these teams undefeated in league play. West Carrollton, a little bit of style, maybe a difference than Sydney, a little bit more low scoring. West Carrollton coming in averaging 45 points, whereas Sydney's coming in averaging 60. Yeah. And both these teams have already got into their league schedule. This will be West Carrollton's third game, all league games. Say, uh, and uh, Sydney's got uh, an out of conference game, but they've already played. This will be their fourth league game. So yeah, I think they, they beat Tecumseh. Yes. So it's. Uh, Kind of an early test, but, you know, right into your league rivals right away. And uh, anxious to see this matchup, and we expect a good ball game and a little bit two styles of defense and offense philosophies as far as pace and such. So, um, again, excited to have it tonight. It should be a good ball game. Yeah. Um, Sydney lost to Troy in their opener, which they really should have won. They lost it in the last minute of the game by four. But since then, they've reeled off three in a row. So And West. Chester with or West Carrollton with the two wins. Yep. They were nail biters as well. Yeah. Ball game. So both teams winning streaks. Sydney with three, West Carrollton with two. So we're getting ready for this national anthem. So we'll be back after that and we will bring you the starting lineups between the West Carrollton Pirates and the Sydney Yellow Jackets. The Hometown Opportunity Platform is exceptional. It is focused, laser focused, on the careers in our four county region. 100% of the time we go to Hometown Opportunity. Uh, We've had great success from a handful of applications when we need them, as well as a recent one where we had 67 applicants. Honestly, it's a competitive advantage. The Hometown Experience has been everything I could have dreamed of and more. Okay, we're back here at Sydney getting ready for the starting lineups of the game between West Carrollton and Sydney. So first for West Carrollton. First number zero, a 5'10 senior, Antonio Robinson. A 5'10 senior, number two, Kevin Davis Jr. A 6'6 junior, number 10, Kylan Ingram. A 6'3 senior, number 11, Byron Freeman. And a 6'6 sophomore, number 23, Joseph Ingram. The Pirates are coached by Anthony Parker and assisted by Darren Boyd and Devon Richardson. Now for the Sydney Yellow Jackets, coached by John Willoughby and assisted by Scott Hooks and Landon Davis. Looks like it's a pink out night, student section. First starter. A 6 2 junior, number three. 6 2 junior, number three. Ethan New. A 6 1 junior, number 12. Kate. And your. A 6 4 junior, number 12. Jace Daniel. 
Leading rebounder, nine rebounds a game. A 5'10 junior, number one, Azon Steele. Leading scorer for the L Jackets at 21 points a game. Second one, a 5'9 junior, number five, Julius Bradling, averaging 14 points a game. And the man in the middle, a 6'4 senior, number 10, Mitchell Davis. So those are the starting lineups. Now we need to get to the keyhole keys to the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza in Newport. Jeff? First for West Carrollton, Coach Anthony Parker stresses they've got to match the energy that City is going to bring. He said their student section is allowed to bring a lot of energy here in the hive. They need to contest open shots, don't give any open looks for the Yellow Jackets, and capitalize on any type of turnover they get, especially live ball turnovers. And for Sydney, Coach Willoughby was pretty adamant. He felt rebounding <laughs> was very key. Um, he mentioned that three times. Yeah, also, he did. We we'll also had the ability maybe with uh, Mitchell Davis, if he can get off, that might be a, a big key for the Yellow Jackets. And uh, also patience on defense. You'll look to see maybe here West Carrollton hold on to the basketball, slow it down, and defensively you just have to be patient. Don't, don't get lazy on defense. They force a turnover in the first possession. Yeah, as Jeff mentioned, West Carrollton comes in averaging 45 points a game. Sydney a little bit over 60. So, so far this season, um, West Carrollton's only scored 48 and 43. So, kind of a contrast in styles of play. So, Sydney likes to run, and West Carrollton likes to play for a good shot and bring it back. Sydney opens up in a 2-3 zone. Each team has had one possession turnover on both teams. There's a long three by Antonio Robinson. No good rebound by Ingram. Joseph Ingram puts it back. He's got his first two points of the game. Two nothing Pirates, and we're going to get a check here on number zero, Antonio Robinson. That's going to be his first team first. Who shot the three-pointer? I heard you say it. Was it Robinson? Yes, or, okay. Robinson did. Same guy got the foul. Yep. And they got, uh, you mentioned right before tip-off that number 23 was a 6-6 six, six sophomore. Yes. Big big young man. Yes, and, uh, he, he is. came up big there. Offensive rebound for points. Second chance opportunity. He, uh, <laughs> he's, for a sophomore, he's put together. Yeah, I would not guess so, him at being a sophomore. But yeah. A wide frame and a strong athlete. Steal with it. Chase Daniel now. He's getting trapped. Oh, it's thrown away. Here comes Ingram. Ingram drives, puts it up off the glass. No. Battle for rebound. There's number 10. Ingram puts it up. Excuse me, that was Freeman that drove the lane and missed the layup. Four to nothing, West Carrollton. Well, Coach Parker talked about capitalizing on turnovers. They did just that. Yep. They didn't score the initial try, but back-to-back offensive rebound opportunities converted for points for the Pirates. There's a long three by Spradlin. Hits a three. Julius now has six of 16 on the season. Came in a five of 15 for 33%, but a big answer by the Jackets. Yep. a 4-0 start deficit. First two possessions ended up in turnovers, and Spradling in hits a three. Four to three, 535 to go here, first quarter. There's a shot that put up by Kevin Davis. No rebound, Mitchell Davis. Here comes Spradling down the right side of the court. Oh, stolen away. Quick hands there by Antonio Robinson. He's going to drive. He goes up against New. No rebound by Ingram. Puts it up. Kylan Ingram with his first two points of the game. Six points. Said four. Yeah, six points coming off offensive rebounds. And four offensive rebounds, three of them they were basically able to put back up for points. There's a shot put up by Azon Steele. That's kind of a tough shot, fading away to the left, shooting back to the right. With a defender on you, but he got it done. I mean, it's not by accident. You mentioned earlier he's their leading scorer, 21 points a game. He's a good shooter. He's a good free throw shooter and a very good three-point shooter at 51%. There's a turnaround by the Southmore. 
Joseph Ingram, not a problem from the free throw line. Quick start here, 10 to 5. 425 to go, first quarter. Ingram, the sophomore, comes in averaging four points again. A game he already has that here in less than half a quarter. There's Davis down spraddling. Oh, we're gonna get a foul. Who are they gonna get? I think Ingram. Ingram 23. Yep, 23. That's Ingram's first. Team second. Chase Daniel to inbound for Sydney. He gets it over to Steele. Steele one on one. He drives. Almost lose it. Yep, and he lost it out of bounds on the line. Turnover, Sydney. Fourth turnover of the quarter. Coach Willoughby wants to talk it over. We're going to have a 30 second timeout. We're just going to keep it here. Again, we like to thank our sponsors for bringing tonight's game First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Winners Meats, Grand Lake Health Systems, Cargill, and NK Telco. Boy, what a good start for the Pirates. And you mentioned. We're talking about Ingram again. He's already capitalized on small offensive rebounding, hit a jumper. He's a 66% field goal shooter on the season, so uh, hasn't attempted any three-point shots on the season. But um, I'm just checking his average here. Yeah, 66% from two-point range. So Yeah, like a, you said, he only comes in averaging four, four-and-a-half rebounds a game, and he's already got. Well, four points and at least three rebounds, yeah. I believe, or two or three. So a uh, good start for the Pirates on the road. And Coach Willoughby kind of wants to, I think, probably more upset for the Yellow Jacks. Four quick turnovers. Yeah. They haven't played four minutes yet. And that's what Coach Parker wants to make sure that they uh, capitalize off those Sydney turnovers. Eight to five here, four minutes to go. First quarter, there's a drop down to Ingram. And the other Ingram... Kylan Ingram there to get it, and he puts it back up. I don't know if he passed it to him or uh, deflected, but yeah. Kylan, you're right. Kylan Ingram ends up with his sixth point. So 10-5, to five, West Carrollton here. Well, the Ingrams have ten, all ten of the Pirates. All points. ten. Spraddling with it. Gives it to Love. Or new, new for three. No. Rebound. Kylan Ingram. Here comes the Pirates. Robinson with it. He gets it to Ingram. Ingram goes up and lays it off the glass. Well, we said they came in averaging 45 points a game. They're on a pace to uh, exceed that. Tonight. Oh, yeah. 12 to 5. Tight defense here by Antonio Robinson and that's on something Julius Bradling. We've seen that from the get go. They've uh, offensively, they slowed down, but defensively, they've applied a lot of pressure on the Yellow Jackets. And I mentioned that's been a key reason to the four quick turnovers here in the quarter by the. Sydney Yellow Jackets. Daniel with it. Davis out to steal, steal. He puts up a three. Thought he was fouled, but no, there's a block. Off to the big Ingram. He goes up. Got it. Joseph Ingram with a layup. Good transition. Wow. They, didn't, they didn't walk it down. They played great defense on the one end. I don't know if they fouled the three-point shooter or not, but In, yeah. they did block Davis's attempt and then quickly Spradling. scored. No, off. Kylan Ingram with the rebound. Here comes the Pirates again. 14-5 to five lead. Sydney now, man-to-man. -man. Kylan Ingram off the glass. No, rebound. Spradling. Here comes Spradling. One-on-one. -on -one. Davis. Davis. Oh, he probably got away with the walk. Daniels with a three hits. Chase Daniel with a three. Much needed points for the Yellow Jackets. For Daniel, that is his third make of the season. Comes in average at 22%. But a good shot there, kind of in rhythm, and a big bucket for the Yellow Jackets. 14 to 8, Pirates. Minute 45 to go here. First quarter. There's a shot put up by Kevin Davis. No rebound. Kylan Ingram, oh, kind of deflected off Joseph Ingram right to the hands of Byron Freeman for a layup. Eight points now on second chance opportunity. Half of their 16 have come on the efforts on the offensive rebounding for the Pirates. And they're hitting the boards hard. Oh, they're going to get Davis with a net. 
Illegal screen. He kind of put his almost, shoulder out. Exactly. The possession before, I almost said he's got to be careful. His feet are outside of his frame. And out there, you're on an island. It's got to be textbook because everyone's watching. You, can, you aren't going to get away with it. Yeah. And he got caught the second time. His first foul, team second. Into the game now for the Pirates is Brandon Foster, number 13, a 6'4", senior. They try to get it down low to Ingram, but no. The Sydney foul on New, or I'm sorry, Mitchell Davis, his first and also team first. I said second, but Yellow Jackets just with a one-team foul. Boy, nice play. Oh, ball stuck, so it's going to be a jump ball, and the ball's going to go to Sydney. So that'll be a defensive rebound for the Yellow Jackets. They don't have many defensive rebounds because all the missed shots, many of them that the Pirates have had, they've been able to rebound their own shot, put yeah. it back up for score. Under a minute to go here, first quarter. Spradlin gets it down to Davis. Davis blocked, but they're going to say he got fouled. Probably a body contact. I thought the arms were clean. Nope, they'll say all on the arms. Okay. Well, That's second foul on Robinson, right? Yes. Good call. So Mitchell Davis will be the line to shoot two. Davis on the season, five of eight from the strike. First one's good. Averaging just under seven points a game and five rebounds for the 6'4 senior. 16 to nine here, first quarter, 47.8 seconds to go. Into the game for the Yellow Jackets is Tucker Hare, number four. He gives Ethan New a rest. So 16 to 10, Pirates six point lead. Freeman with it. Directing traffic. Also into the game for the Pirates, number 12, Samson Jackson. Davis has it. There's Freeman. He goes to the bucket, puts up a wild shot over the backboard. Ball over to Sydney with 23.1 seconds to go here. First quarter. Well, if they get a bucket here, they could have, I felt, withstood the run the Pirates put on. Sydney hasn't had a turnover since Coach Willoughby called the timeout with 4.10 to go. So they've uh, with Spradling they've right at them. Ingram. Nice move. Julius with five. 16-12 now, eight seconds. Jackson going to get called for a walk. Good defense by the Yellow Jackets. He kind of ran into a couple Yellow Jackets, and they basically just grabbed the ball, and then that tie-up, if you will, there was a travel violation. Quickly in, Mikey Gomes. Four seconds to go here. Spradling with it. Oh, Gomes is going to foul him. That's what happens when you've been sitting for seven minutes game time and you come in and you try to play defense on steel, I believe it was. A lot of quickness there. And yeah. She just blew right by him. So two seconds. Let's see what Sydney can do with that. Steel. Oh, knocked away there. Nice defense by Kevin Davis Jr. That'll do it. First quarter action. West Carrollton 16, Sydney 12. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with second quarter action here. You're watching high school basketball on NK Telco Sports. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Welcome back to Sydney. One quarter in the Bucks. West Carrollton with a 16-12 lead over the Sydney Yellow Jackets. Jeff, any numbers that jump out at you? Well, the turnovers that we talked about in the first quarter, Sydney committed four right away. West Carrollton took advantage of them, scoring on some of them, and the offensive rebounding for West Carrollton came up big as they converted one, two, three, four of those offensive rebounds back for a total of eight points. So 
West Carrollton, eight of 17 from the field, just one three-point shot attempted. So they were just under 50%. Sydney shot a pretty good 50%, four for eight, but just limited, limited attempts with the turnovers early. Travel. Joseph Ingram back in the game, the 6'6 six, six sophomore for the Pirates. That's their third turnover of the game for West Carrollton, two in the first from one in the, now to start the quarter, as I mentioned earlier, four turnovers for Sydney, but all those came before the 4-10 mark, so they played a clean second half of the first quarter. After that timeout. And that's where they got most of their offense, yep. too. Steal with it, Davis. Kind of dangerous, going to be off, he's on steal. Another turnover for Sydney. No, that's what we just talked about. Their first since early in the first quarter. And, uh, again, pressure defense by the Pirates. Their offense slows you down a little bit, although we did see them run a couple times. Yeah, they did. But uh, uh, they play pressure defense. It would be interesting to see what their highest output was uh, per quarter on the season so far in their first two games. So Robinson gets it over to Freeman. Freeman over to Davis. Davis down low to Joseph Ingram. They're going to get him with an offensive foul. His Tucker seven. Heron there. Nice defense. I saw Heron was defending him. Heron's six feet tall, guarding Ingram, who's six inches on him and probably 20 to 30 the pounds. Oh, yeah. So good play by Tucker Heron picking up the second foul against Ingram and, and forcing the second quarter or second turnover of the quarter. So here comes Steele, Steele to Heron. He gets it down to Spradling. Over to Daniel. Daniel with it out front, Heron. With two fouls coming up maybe out of his comfort zone, playing a smaller body, maybe not used to defending out that high. Yeah. Daniel, or I should say Mitch Davis, Mitchell Davis. With the pass. With the pass, hits Spradling for the layup. Good assist by Mitchell Davis. 16-14 16-14 now. I think eight was the biggest lead in the first quarter by the Pirates, so good job by the Yellow Jackets weathering the storm and putting a little offensive run together and playing some pretty good defense. Uh, Robinson, I should say not Robinson, but Kylan Ingram loses the handle of it down low. Ball goes out of bounds. Ball back to Sydney. another turnover on the Pirates. Well, they take out... Joseph Ingram with the two fouls. Ingram had six points in the first quarter. Spradling steal with it now. Heron from the side, no. Left side, no. Rebound, Robinson. Here comes the Pirates. He gets it up quickly. Robinson with Spradling on him. Gets it over to Freeman. Kylan Ingram down in the corner. He was posting up Mitchell Davis, but didn't get it. Now Ingram has it. Spin move, puts it up. No. Davis with the rebound. Bucket here, Sydney can tie it or take the lead. Yeah, that, again, after the start they had, they've really yeah. done a nice job gathering their composure, and maybe they can get a lead here, kind of get the student body into the action a little bit, because right now it's kind of calm, and that's what the Pirates want. Spradling fadeaway, no. Rebound, steal. Oh, he had it, lost it, and then kicked it out of bounds. So, Ethan New back in for the Yellow Jackets. A chance here for the Yellow Jackets to even gain an offensive rebound. He said they had a chance, lost it for the turnover, but... We saw last possession, the Pirates really slowed it down again until basically Kylan Ingram got the touch, then he kind of went out the basket, but uh, very patient now as they walk it across into the front court. Ingram with it at the free throw line. He gets it off to Freeman. Freeman drives, got it. Nice Off the glass, and they're going to get Davis with the foul. Nice handoff there. Doesn't seem that difficult, but it was a good job by Ingram sensing where the defense was to give it to Freeman. And Freeman really extended it out there so it couldn't get blocked and drew the contact. Has a chance for a three-point play. And that is a second foul on Davis. Davis. And he, in fact, has the only two fouls of the game for the Yellow Jackets. Also in for Sydney, number 13, 6'1 junior Tanner Snyder. Here's a three-point play attempt. 
Just four attempts on the season. Two for four is Brian or Byron Freeman. He misses. There's a rebound by Daniel. He gets it up to up to Snyder. Daniel Snyder. Oh, and he's going to stand out of bounds. Step out of bounds, excuse me. So another turnover on the Yellow Jackets. Third of the quarter, seventh in the game. 18 to 14 here. West Carrollton, four point lead, 425 to go, second quarter. Pirates slowing it down. Robinson walking the ball up the court. There's a three from Davis. No rebound. Robinson, and we're going to get a jump ball. Ball's going to go to Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets. Who caught it? Who got it for the uh, Yellow Jackets? Because uh, who tied up? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I was just trying to think. I saw it, yeah. and I was like, well, that was a good job tying it up, for, you know, eliminating an offensive board. Spraddling drives, and he's going to get fouled by Freeman. Byron Freeman. Freeman, his first team's first of the quarter, or second of the quarter. Spraddling's going to be at the line, a 73% free throw shooter. He's attempted the most this season for the Yellow Jackets. That's hometown hop. Yeah, it was. He came in 19 of 26. He is now 20 of 27. He averages 14 points a game, six rebounds, three assists, and two steals. So a little bit of everything. Second one's good. 18-16 now. Pirate two-point lead. Oh, almost. Oh, yeah. Off of Freeman's leg. Good defense there by Chase Daniel to disrupt that. That's a stat you probably won't see in the books. It's hard to record that, but he does get credit. You know, he'll cause that turnover. His aggressive play came up, deflected it off of the Pirates, and they have already now committed four turnovers in the first four minutes of the second quarter. They have six in the game. Spraddling out by half court. He drives. He goes up. Nice move. No. Almost had it. Rolls off. Here comes Freeman. Freeman stolen away by Chase Daniel. He gets it up to Snyder. Snyder layup. No. Chase Daniel had to rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Ball stay with the Yellow Jackets. That's back-to-back possessions at number 12. Chase Daniel has come up with a play. Cause a turnover right in front of Coach Willoughby. The last possession, and then that last time they're getting a steal on his own. Number 12, Samson Jackson in for Byron Freeman. That was a nice move by Spradlin the last time. I thought he was going to get called for a charge. Somebody went yeah. through the two defenders. And he missed the shot, but how he avoided them. and He and just kind of hung in the air. Had, and Yeah. From this angle, it looked like he had nowhere to go, but he found an opportunity. Unfortunately, he couldn't get it to drop. But that's the type of player he can be and has the ability to make plays. Daniel drives. Charge. Yep, they're going to get him with the charge. His first. Team second, and a good job by the Pirates taking the charge. And I looked down, I didn't see who took it, but good heads up play defensively for the Pirates. I think it was Ingram took that charge. Approaching three minutes to go here. 18-16, West Carrollton with the lead. This quarter has been a much West Carrollton pace, if you will. Low scoring. It was 16-12 at the end of the first quarter. So just limited points. Jackson, he's going to walk. Six turnovers now for the Pirates. And like I said, they just have two points here in a quarter. They had 16 in the first. For a team that doesn't average a lot of points, this kind of brings them back down to their pace scoring. I mean, it's only been 4-2, to two, right? Yes. Here four, in the, yeah. Four points by Sidney all from Julia Spradlin in the second quarter and a two-point basket by Byron Freeman on that nice scoop play. And he got fouled and missed the free throw, but uh, that's the only offense here of the quarter. He's on steal back on the court for the Yellow Jackets. New has it. Spradling deep three. Bingo. Sydney with a one-point lead now. First lead of the game for the Yellow Jackets. What a job by the Yellow Jackets. Uh, Spradley now his second three-pointer of the game. That's uh, numbers 20 and 21. There's a steal. Steal. Azon steal. Left hand good. I think we're going to get timeout by the West Carrollton Pirates. Going to be a full timeout. So we'll take one with them here. 21-18, Sydney with the lead. 
2.08 to go in the second quarter. We'll be back right after this. Back at the Hive, Sydney outscoring West Carroll 92 here in the second period. They have a 21-18 lead. They've done so, Craig, with some very good defense. They've forced now seven turnovers. The last one resulted in a basket, so I know for sure a couple points, but their offense has been uh, scoring. They've hit a, a, a three-pointer. Julius Spradlin's had a nice second quarter, two, four, seven points in the quarter for Spradling. Robinson gives it to Freeman. They're looking post up. Joseph Ingram down low. There was a runner by Freeman. He's going to get fouled by Snyder. Tanner Snyder. Snyder's first, team's third. Freeman missed his first free throw of the game just a few possessions ago. Two for five on the season. His first free throws up. Got it. Three for six on the season and his fifth point of the game. Jay Daniel coming back in, replacing Tanner Snyder. And I was wrong at the beginning of the broadcast where I said it was a pink out. It's actually Barbie night, Barbie and Ken night here at Sydney. Freeman, second free throw, good. One point, Sydney lead. Here comes Steele ahead of everybody else. Knocked away there by Kevin Davis. Ball will stay with Sydney. Minute 51 to go before halftime. New has it over to Steele. Jace Daniel has it. You mentioned halftime. They're going to honor the highest scoring Ohio High School Athletic Association game. Those players from Sydney from the Colonel White Sydney team back in 1993. They will be honored at halftime. So you'll see that act activity on the, the live stream. We'll keep the sound on so you can hear everything going on there. There's Steele. Nice. Gets it off to Ooh. New. New over to Spradling in the corner. Steele, long three. Oh, in and out. Rebound, Ingram. Ingram gets it up to Robinson. Here comes the Pirates. Approaching a minute to go here for halftime. Joseph Ingram gets it down low. Puts it up good. As Jeff mentioned, there's a mismatch here between him and Tucker Heron, and height-wise and weight-wise. He took advantage of it. Good use of his frame on balance, his eighth point. Remember, he missed most of the second quarter with the two fouls he had, so they've been protecting him, but he's been made a presence when he's been on the court. Spradling drives, he's fouled. Oh, which one got him? It's going to either be 10 or 23, but it's 23. It's his oh, third. that's his third. Joseph Ingram picks up his third foul. That'll put Julius Spradling at the line. 39.3 seconds. Pirates 22, Yellow Jackets 21. Now we're tied at 22. Spradling now three for three in the night or on the night. I mentioned earlier he had a three-pointer in the quarter. That was the second three-pointer of the game. It was three-pointers, six and seven made on the season as he's free-throw shooting He's been there often. He is a frequent visitor already now with 30 attempts on the season. Had 26 coming in and four tonight. He's made all four. So he raised that free throw percentage back up. There's a three from the corner. Daniel, we're going to get an over the back call on, I think, Byron Freeman. Yep, that's his second. So 25 seconds for the Yellow Jackets to work with here. 23-22, Sydney with the lead. Ooh, that oh, yeah, legal. that was close. Yeah, just uh, that you can't do that. Daniel for three, no. Way off, they're spraddling. 
Spradling gets the rebound, puts it back up off the glass. Four seconds, three, two, one. Robinson for three. No. And we'll go to halftime with the Jackets up 25 to 22 over the West Carrollton Pirates. Again, we have uh, the ceremony for the highest scoring game in OHSAA history between Colonel White and the Sydney Yellow Jackets. So we'll keep the sound on for that so you can hear everything going on. So we're here at halftime, 25-22. We'll be back right for third quarter action right after this halftime break. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge-free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. We're back here at Sydney. Very neat ceremony that they had at halftime of the 1993 Correct. Sydney Yellow ago. Jackets and uh, Colonel White Cougars, who have the highest scoring game ever in OHSAA history. And they recognized all them. A lot of the players return. So that was very, very neat to watch. So... Now, 25-22 Sydney, and we're going to take a look at our halftime stats here, brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. Jeff? For the West Carrollton Pirates, two-point shooting, 10 of 19. Very good, 10 of 19 from two-point range. Zero of four, three-point shooting overall, 10 of 23 for 43% for the Pirates. For the Yellow Jackets, five of 10 from two-point range. Three of eight, three-point shooting overall. Eight of 18, a total of 44%. Pirates attempted three free throws, made two. Yellow Jackets attempted six, made all six. Rebounding, Pirates pulled down 10, five defensive, five offensive. Those five offensive ones turned out to be key as uh, they converted those back for a total of eight points. Yellow Jackets, eight rebounds, I'm sorry, 12 rebounds. Four of those were offensive, and they got two points on second chance. Turnovers, Pirates with nine, Yellow Jackets with eight, and your individual scores for West Carrollton. Kylan Ingram and Joseph Ingram, each with eight. Byron Freeman with six, their total of 22. For Sydney, Ju Julius Spradling, 16. Four from Azon Steele, three from Jace Daniel, two from Mitchell Davis, their total of 25. And uh, started out the first quarter, actually, West Carrollton, 16 first quarter points compared to 12 for Sydney. Sydney, though, turns it on offensively. They score 13 in the second quarter and just six points for the Pirates. And that's where we stand, 25-22, as we start the third quarter. And like you mentioned there in the second quarter when Coach Willoughby called that timeout with like four minutes in into the, the first, first quarter, yes. that since that time, Sydney just kind of, well, they took care of basketball, yes. they boxed out better on defense, and they hit shots. So um, they forced the Pirates into a number of turnovers themselves, and plus the foul trouble for Joseph Ingram, who has three. He spent a lot of time on the bench with yeah, two. Yeah, he did. Came in, scored a basket, and picked up his third the next trip down the court. So with him out, that seems to have slowed down the offensive power for the Pirates, but uh, they go to work here in the third, down by three. There's a rebound. A shot was put up by 
Number two, Kevin Davis, Spradling went up with the rebound but came down, landed on his back and travel call. I'll call that an offensive rebound. Possession stays the same. A tough break for the Yellow Jackets, but they'll try to defend here again and keep the Pirates scoreless in their first touch. Freeman gets it down. Oh, the good defense there by New. Knocked out of bounds, and it's going to stay with West Carrollton. That time, Ethan New got around and fronted Joseph Ingram. He had a nice job, a little ball denial. Ethan New, six feet, two inches. Joseph Ingram, six feet, six inches. So a little bit better matchup there than when I believe it was Heron got stuck. Yeah, Heron, yeah. Oh, there's a wild pass by Robinson out of bounds. Robinson, the right idea, just uh, the angle wasn't maybe in his favor. And, boy, a straight line bounce pass. It went straight. He uh, yep. couldn't get a – needed to throw it off the wall to come back. His player was kind of open, just the wrong angle. There's Daniel with the shot from free throw line extended. No. Rebound. Azon Steele gets it to Spradling. Spradling for three. Nails it. His third, Six. his third triple of the game. Six points, Sydney lead now, 28-22. 19 for Spradlin. Sydney in man-to-man defense. They played a 2-3 zone most of the first half. And I don't think the Pirates want to get down too much. I don't know that they like to, their offense lies geared to score in bunches. It's more deliberate. Ingram with the rebound, puts it up, no. Joseph Ingram with it, no. Rebound, he's on Steele. Boy, Here break. comes Steele. Oh, it's stolen away. Robinson, he goes right at Steele, off the glass, good. 28-24 now. Spradling, wait for everybody to get back, slows it up. Here comes Steele, Steele, jumper, No. Rebound, Kylan Ingram. Stolen by Daniel. Daniel over to Spradling. Spradling fake. Stolen away by Kevin Davis. And what are we going to get? We're going to get a timeout called by Wes Carrollton. And some little action with some of the couple of the players, I think. Steele and also maybe Robinson. Got Kevin a little- Davis. Number yeah. two, yeah. Referees there to get it everything under control. We'll just keep it here. We'd like to thank our following sponsors bring you tonight's game. First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Winner's Meats, Grand Lake Health Systems, Cargill, and NK Telco. We'd also like to thank these additional sponsors. Carriage Works, Chill Tex, LLC, Cy Schwederman, Dickman Supply, Elmwood Assistant Care, Hometown Opportunity, Hulesman Automotive, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric, Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Securecom, Buds Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Crown Equipment, Shelby County Veteran Services, St. Henry Bank, and WCSM Radio. My name's Craig Louth. Alongside me tonight, Jeff Henson. Beginning stages of the third quarter, 5.49 to go. Sydney with a four-point lead, 28-24. Pirates could use a bucket. Their offense has really been stale since that first quarter. They scored 16. They've scored eight since then and have their biggest deficit of four points here. So they would like nothing more than get a a basket in his possession following the timeout by Coach Anthony Parker. Freeman, he's going to get fouled by Spradling. He'll go to the line. Yeah, we talked about it. They averaged 45 and a half points a game coming in, though it's only been two games. But that first quarter, we thought they're yeah. going to go way over that. But They bounced it out with six in the second. So 22 points at halftime is right on their average. But Sydney is a much higher offensive team as they score 60 points a game. 
That was not a shooting foul. They said it was on the floor. Yeah, I, I was wondering because I thought when Ingram he, when for the three, blew, no, he threw it. But um, Joseph Ingram there again. Oh, they're going to get a a foul on number three, Ethan New. His first, team second, and another offensive rebound here. Now, the yeah. last time Pirates had three looks at it by uh, Robinson, Ingram, and Ingram, and none of them went down, so they couldn't capitalize on those. They'll try to do so here. Kylan Ingram drives, no. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds on the rebound by West Carrollton, so the ball goes back to Sydney. So four offensive rebounds here in the third quarter for the Pirates. No points on those offensive rebounds. Here comes Spradling. Robinson all over him. New has it now. Daniel puts up a three. No. Rebound by Davis up to Robinson. He puts it up. No. Rebound by Freeman. No. Ingram. No. Rebound, Snyder. Knocked away there by Antonio Robinson. Three more looks for the Pirates. Yeah, point blank. Boom, boom, boom. Still yeah, can't get were, it in. They were close. Uh, they, were, they were being challenged. Even the layup attempt was kind of a, a tough shot. But, boy, they've had some looks at stickbacks that have not gone down here in the third. They still trail by four. Snyder now with it. Spradling. Daniel. Daniel, long three. He nails it. His second made triple of the ball game, his fourth of the season, and that was a distance one. You know, it's it's one of those things like if you're feeling it, but uh, he hasn't made many threes on the season, but well beyond a three-point Oh, yeah. Seven points, Sydney lead now. Almost four minutes to go. Third quarter. Robinson drives, puts it up. No, rebound, Mitch, Mitchell Davis. He's going to get fouled. Foul's going to be on Antonio Robinson. That's his third. Yep. Yes. So see if Sydney can build on this seven-point lead. Just under four minutes to go. Third quarter action. Davis for three. No, long. Ball is going to be off of Ethan New. So West Carrollton gets possession. Said it once, said it many times. They need to score here. Their offense, I think if they can just see the ball go through the, the, the rim, the net, that they're going to get some confidence. But it's been a struggle here in the third quarter. Joseph Ingram goes. Nice shot off glass. With Davis shot. right in his face. He had to regain balance and gain some space. New Davis was in his face and able to kiss it off the glass. He now has 10 points for the 6'6 sophomore. Daniel, Daniel to Davis. Davis puts it up. No. Rebound. Kylan Ingram off to the races. Here comes Davis. Good. Lays it off the glass. Back-to-back bugs. I said if they see one go, they might like you know, the feeling, and they get a great rebound and in transition. Back-to-back hoops for the Pirates. 31-28. Spradling wildly no. Kylan Ingram, here comes the Pirates again. Robinson gets it off to Joseph Ingram. Off glad. Nice shot by the big man. I thought he was going to run over Davis or whoever was trying to take the uh, charge, but he pulled up under control off the glass. Coach Willoughby wants a 30-second timeout. A seven-point lead dwindled real quick within a minute. 30 down to one, so he wants to talk things over. So we'll just keep it here right now. Broadcast replay information for tonight's game. NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's high school varsity basketball action on NK Telco Cable or the NKT.TV app. On channel 153 on December 18th at 6 p.m. You can rewatch this game. You can also rewatch it December 29th at 6 p.m. or December 30th at 2 p.m on either Channel 3 or High Def, Channel 503. You can also watch live games via pay-per-view through nktelco.com sports 
and more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktucko.com backslash sports. So back to live action here. One point, Sydney lead. Davis puts it up, and he's going to get fouled by Freeman. Freeman picks up his third of foul and the fourth of the quarter, and free throws coming up for Mitchell Davis. He's two for two on the night. Davis come in shooting 62.5% from the free throw line. And as Jeff mentioned, two for two so far. First one, friendly bounce again. Home cooking. Yep. 32-30 Sydney. Tucker Heron's going to come in for Ethan New. Second one, oh, air ball by Mitchell Davis. You don't see that much. No, you don't. Not at this level. And uh, just short-armed it. And you'll have to shake that one off, have a short memory, because may have to hit some big ones coming up yet here in this ball game. Here's Robinson with the ball. He puts up a shot from the side. Got it, and we're tied at 32. Four points by Antonio Robinson. He averages 15 and a half. He's our leading scorer. Yeah. His first points of the game have come now here in the third quarter. He has four. Steal with it. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to take a three from that deep, but good he drives. He shoots it. from the free throw line. Got it. He's on steel. Well, kind of quiet tonight well, so far. Both leading scorers. Steel averaging 21, now has six. And Robinson Antonio, the point guard, 15 and a half, scored his first points the last possession. Robinson puts one up. Steele with the rebound. He's looking for help. He gets it off to Heron. Heron. Oh, it's going to be stole from behind by number two, Kevin Davis. And it's scramble for it. Steele gets it back. Oh, almost threw it away and walked. Here comes Spradling. Setting things up. Coach Willoughby. This is the slowest we've seen Sydney yeah. play <laughs> offensively. Yeah. I, mean, I doubt they'll pull it out the rest of the, what, under 70 seconds or almost a minute. Maybe they will. They want to force the Pirates to come out and spread them and then go to work at the glass. 34-32, Spradling, nice drive. Nice shot. 36-32. Well, they spread him out, and off he goes. Yep. So, tough to stop, and he body control near the rim. Drifted by the defender, a soft shot in for his 21st point of the night. He just seems to hang in the air, and been very impressive. Good legs. Joseph Ingram, st- oh, he's on steel, came around. Almost got the steal. 34.5 seconds. And again, we have Heron at six feet. Well, now they're going to take Joseph Ingram out. But, boy, that was a matchup again. They were working on Heron, but he held him up to allow the defense to come down to double team. Yep. Almost come up with a steal. Brandon Foster in to replace him. There's a lob. Oh, stolen away by Heron. Heron to steal. To Spradling. Layup. Oh, no good. Here comes Robinson, the other end. He drives. Off glass, no. Battle for the rebound. Brandon Foster got the rebound, puts it up. Good and is fouled. Boy, what a change in momentum there as Harry wow. comes up with a big steal. We just talked about him holding up Joseph Ingram. Then comes up with the steal, but they don't cash in on the yeah. big play. Down the court it comes, and now it's Pirates. Could be a five point swing yes. here. Foster comes in shooting 70% on the season, averaging four and a half points a game. Nineteen point eight seconds, third quarter. Thirty-six to thirty-four, Sydney. Free throws good. Foster three-point play. One point Sydney lead. Here comes Spradling. Robinson all over him. Davis. Down to 10. Spradling, I think he's going to go one-on-one against Robinson. Ooh, Close. Here's Davis. Davis knew. Oh, they're not going to get it off. That's going to do it for the third quarter. So, 
Sydney 36, West Carrollton 35. We'll be back for exciting fourth quarter action here between the Yellow Jackets and the Pirates. You're watching High School Basketball and K-Telco Sports. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Welcome back to high school basketball here on NK Tucker Sports. We're at Sydney High School. Just about ready to start fourth quarter action. Sydney with a one point lead over West Carrollton. 36 35. Looks like for West Carrollton, number 11, Byron Freeman must be dealing with some cramps. He's been down here stretching out behind the Pirate bench. So let's see if that comes into a factor. He's one of his starters. Sydney Steele has it. He drives. Nice fake. Puts the left hand. No. He's John fouled. Drew the contact and 13 is gonna foul's gonna be on Brandon Foster. His first foul. And team foul number one of the fourth quarter. At the line, Azon Steele. Again, leading score for the Yellow Jackets at 21 points a game. Very good free throw shooter. Seven of eight, now make it seven of nine, but 87% came in to the ball game at that. Also a very good three-point shooter at 51%, but he is over two from three-point line tonight. Currently six at six points, make it seven. Sydney, two-point lead, 37-35. Antonio Robinson brings the ball up, gets it over to Foster. Kylan Ingram. Now, Joseph Ingram. Nice bounce. Nice. Foster up, off glass, good. Assist from Kylan Ingram, but a nice bounce pass. And like I said, Foster there, his, all of his points have come here in the second half. He now has five. Tied here at 37. Steal with it. New with three. Oh, that's a big bucket. Ethan New with a three. He's only attempted six on the season. He attempted one in the first quarter, missed it, makes his attempt there. So he's now three for seven on the season, but a big bucket is right. Gives them the Yellow Jackets a three-point lead. Ingram with it. Gives it off to Davis. Davis from the free throw line, banks it in. Davis Jr. now with four points. Again, all those here in the second half. One point, Sydney lead. Still with it. He drives. Puts it up. Left hand off the glass. No, but he's going to get a go to the line. They're going to get a foul on Foster again. Yep, 13. Tough. He was Foster was just kind of trying to stand there, and not do anything, but it was the angle that Steele came in at. I think made it look awkward and, and maybe a little bit of body contact. But a good job by Azon Steele committing or creating the free throw opportunity. Steele's first free throw is good. 41-39, Sydney. Eight points now for Steele, who again coming came in averaging 21 a game. 6.26 to go here in the ball game. Second free throw, good. Sydney back up by three now. There's a pick set by Ingram. Robinson for three. No. Long rebound by Foster. Foster goes back up, and he's going to be fouled. Go get a line shoot two. They're going to get... Mitchell Davis with the foul. Davis' third foul, team foul number one of the fourth. And Foster, who kind of recipient of a ticky-tack foul yeah. maybe on the other end, gets credit with an opportunity here 
to, for two free throws. He's one for one on the night. First one's good. Six points in the ball game now for Brandon Foster. It's a good sign. Byron Freeman back in for the Pirates. Give a breather to Joseph Ingram. Maybe rest him on defense with three fouls. Yeah. Second free throw, no. Rebound by Freeman, stolen away by Spradling. Spradling up court to Daniel. Daniel goes through it. Oh, tried to reverse. Rebound goes off of West Carrollton. Right idea by Daniel. He, by going under the rim as a reverse, he took away the shot blocking ability that maybe he was facing. I thought there was a foul on West Carrollton that uh, I think it was Davis went for rebound. Someone came in horizontally and like kind Knocked of him. displaced him sideways, yeah. but nothing was called. And now it looks like again you mentioned Foster the or not Foster but uh, Freeman, Freeman right with a cramping appears to be having issues again. They'll try to get him off the court. Easier said than done. When every time. You relax it, it fires up again. Joseph Ingram come back in off the bench. They're gonna coaches are gonna help Freeman get off the court. So he'll try to get stretched out here. Daniel inbound. Oh, nice. Davis. Oh. oh! There's a foul undercut. Nice play as, uh, boy, Mitchell Davis, eyes wide open, almost came up, but they get a foul on the Pirates. They're going to call Joseph Ingram with his fourth foul. Doesn't agree with it, neither is Coach Parker. Tough break for the Pirates. Not only the foul, but... To go against Ingram Joseph, that is. He's had a great game with 12 points. He's been playing limited minutes with a foul trouble. Mitchell Davis, free throw good. All of Davis's points have come from the free throw line tonight. He now has four. That was a nice inbound it play. Was. Davis sinks both of them. Three-point lead again for the Yellow Jackets. Five of six from the free throw line for the 6-4 senior. Davis brings the ball up, gets it over to Robinson. Over to Ingram. Well, Ingram stayed in with the four fouls. Yeah. But, of course, it's on the offensive end. Maybe a little bit uh, less opportunity to pick up his fifth. Kylan step back three. I should say Antonio Robinson step back three. The pick was set by Kylan Ingram. Comes a pick from Davis. Oh, Davis, don't is, put your elbows up. They'll oh, that, call you it every time. And his feet are outside of his shoulder. That's. There's going to be a blocking foul on Brandon Foster. His third team foul, number four. So after this, the Yellow Jackets will be in two-shot opportunity the final five minutes. Five minutes, the, yeah. So. 5.17 to go here. Sydney is a 75% free throw shooting team. Very good accuracy from the line. Also shooting 38% from three point range. Yeah, also that's very good. very good. Maybe that's why they're scoring 60 points a game also. Steal with it. He drives, puts up a jumper. No, rebound. Kylan Ingram gets it off to Robinson. Robinson puts it up off glass, good. Robinson back now with six. Back to one point, Sydney lead, 44-43. They don't run much, do the Pirates, but when there's an opportunity, they can push tempo. And that's surprising because they're quick. Spradling got his own rebound up a wild shot, and he puts it back up, and good. Oh, well, second chance opportunity. That's three points here in the quarters. They got a free throw from... Um, steal the last time on offensive glass. There's Ingram. No. Rebound Joseph Ingram. He goes up strong. Got it. Um, Parker's wanting to Coach Parker's wanting to foul on that one, but to no avail. So more offensive opportunities for the Pirates. They take advantage of it. Spradling goes. Oh, oh they're going to get Vicky Man. Yep. I thought that's I don't like. Oh, my. 
Joseph Ingram's going to foul out the 6'6 sophomore with a whale of a game. 14 points and quite a few rebounds. Just a tough break. I, I don't agree with it. I know the offense ran into him, but he was just standing still straight yeah, up. Yeah, what could, nothing you can do. You're not, you shouldn't have to run out of the way. No. Damian Carson's going to come in to replace. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Number one, Dexter Pitts. Not sure why Carson didn't wasn't able to come in. I don't know either. I, I don't. It didn't look like they changed their mind. It just. I, I don't know. Spradling made the first free throw. He had 21 coming into the fourth. He now has keeps it at. 24. Oh, Mitchell almost tipped back in. Mitchell Davis, that is. Robinson knocked away by Spradling. So all he has to do down there is just kick it out of bounds, get back to playing five on five. Yep. If he doesn't touch it, it's an opportunity on the left side for a high percentage shot. Davis almost on that Tip rebound it. off the free throw, tipped it in, but ball goes in to Davis. Pitts, who just entered the game. Here's Ingram. They're going to get him for a walk. First turnover of the fourth quarter for the Pirates. That's their fifth of the half and their 14th of the ball game. 3.53 to go here in the ball game. 47 Sydney, 45 West Carrollton. Well, we thought it'd be a good ball game. Yeah. These two teams undefeated in my Miami Valley League play. Spradling cross court the new. New gets it back to Spradling. The steel steel puts one up off the corner. Good. Four point Sydney lead. Quick first step. Oh, real quick. 11 points now for Azon Steel. And Robinson. what coach, what coach Parker didn't want is a student body for Sydney to get fired up, and they are getting fired up. Deep three, no good. There's Chase Daniel. Clean the board. Spradling. Over to New. Oh, no foul called there. Steele gets it up to Davis. He loses it. Wild sequence here. Spradling gets it, and he backs it back out. 2.45 to go in the game. Oh, they're going to get a reach around by Kevin Davis. That's going to put... Azon Steele at the line, shoot two. Steele, 87% coming in. He's three for four tonight, so the 87 will drop a little bit, but still a very good free throw shooter, Azon Steele, and that's who you want to have the ball in the hands in these type of situations or guys that can make the free throws. First one, good. Five point Sydney lead, 50 to 45. Into the game, Samson Jackson replacing Dexter Pitt for the West Carrollton Pirates. Still gets one more. Up. Good. Identical to the first one. Bounced off the front, the back, in. 13 now for Steele. Comes Robinson. Oh, almost stolen away there. Ingram. Davis, no. Rebound. Ingram gets it off to 13. Brandon Foster, he puts it up off glass and good, and he's fouled. Who'd they get on this one? Foul's going to be on Ethan New. It's going to be his second. Team's third, but, boy, offensive rebound and coming up big here. That's currently five points here in a quarter on second chance. and free throw here give him six points. And a good quarter for Brandon Foster. Not real sure. Nobody touched anything, and the buzzer went off. <laughs> both, both people on the scoreboard. Yep. Well, we didn't do it. At least it wasn't a fire alarm. 
So Brandon Foster, chance for another three-point play. He had one of those conventional ones in the third quarter. No, rebound, Mitchell Davis, 51-47, Sydney. Here comes Daniel right up the middle of the court. He gets it off the new, new for three. Oh. <laughs> That's the second big shot by Ethan New tonight. Both threes, 54-47, two minutes. Three threes for number three. Kylan Ingram, no, rebound, Spradling. And they're going to get Robinson with a foul. Yeah, some big shots there by Ethan New. He came in two of five from three-point shooting in their first uh, four ball games. He is one. He's um, two for three. Yes, I said that wrong. Second three for number three. Yeah, two for three, six points. So I don't know something's going on to the scorer's table. Julius Spradling, Sydney with a seven-point lead. Misses the first one off the back of the rim. Coming in is Samson Jackson, replacing Dexter Pitts. Minute 54 to go. Spradling with 24 points in the ball game, averaging 14, so 10 above his season average. Second one good for Spradling. Big possession here for the Pirates with time running out under two minutes. They need some offense. 55-47. Here's a three from Davis. No. Rebound. Daniels. Oh, stolen away by Foster. Here's Robinson. No. Wow. Rebound. Mitchell Davis. He's going to be fouled by Brandon Foster. Boy, Robinson shot. What more could not have gone in? I thought it was in a couple times. Minute 33 to go here. Davis at the line. He's been there now one, two, three. This is his fourth trip to the line. He's five of six. All of his points here in the ballgame have come on free throws. These are attempts seven and eight. Davis short on that one. Last one he airballed. That one barely touched the rim. That, he airballed the one in the third quarter. He was here in the fourth quarter. Was he? Both okay. Of them. But, yeah, he did have that one that you uh, need to forget about. There, second one good. 56-47. Sydney with a three-possession lead here. Pitts for three, no. Rebound, tipped around. Robinson with it, puts it back up. Blocked out of bounds by Mitchell Davis. We saw his leaping ability on the inbound. Oh, play, yeah. And he timed that one nicely. Hit the ball in the air. It does go out of bounds, so still the Pirates keep possession. Ingram for three. No. Rebound. Battled for it. And it's going to go to. It's going to be Sydney Ball. Minute 14 now. 56-47 Sydney. Here comes Julius Spradling with it. Gets it off to New. New Daniels. Oh, and he's going to lose it out of bounds. Unforced turnover there. Second of the quarter, sixth of the half, 14 turnover of the game. Sydney comes in averaging 13.8 turnovers a game, so they're right, right at their average. Yep, right at it. Remember, they had a rough start to the game. They had uh, four turnovers in like the first five possessions. I don't and think Pirates got can waste too much time. They're down. They need this shot to pits. drop. No, rebound, Ethan New, fight for it to get it off to steal, steal. Pirates got a foul here. I don't know if there's enough time. There's Julius Spradling with it. Yep, coach is calling them off, 30 seconds. 56-47, Sydney. Fifteen seconds. Spradling just about <laughs> dribbled it off his foot and lost it. Steel running around with it now. Final five seconds. That's going to do it here. Big win for the Sydney Yellow Jackets. 56-47 over the 
West Carrollton Pirates. We'll take a quick break and let Jeff figure up all the stats. And we'll be back with our final game recap right after this. Are you looking for a rewarding career? Lincoln Electric Automation in Coldwater and Fort Loramie supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Lincoln Electric Automation routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business. We offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit LincolnElectric.com and get on track to a better career and a better future all right back here at sydney where the l jackets pull off a 56 47 win over west carrollton we'd like to thank the following sponsors who helped us bring you tonight's game first national bank keyhole pizza precision strip winner's meats grand lake health systems cargill and nk telco our scoreboard sponsor was First National Bank, our keys to the game was brought to you by Keel Pizza. Our timeout sponsor was Precision Strip. We have a player of the game brought to you by NK Telco. We'll be coming up with that. Our mid and post game stats are brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. And our live view is brought to you by Cargill. We'd also like to thank these additional sponsors of Carriage Works, Chiltex LLC, Cy Schwederman, Dickman Supply. Elmwood Assisted Care, Hometown Opportunity, Hulesman Automotive, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric, Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Securecom, Buds, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Crown Equipment, Shelby County Veteran Services, St. Henry Bank, and WCSM Radio. And again, NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's high school varsity basketball action on NK Telco Cable or the NKT.TV app on channel 153 on December 18th at 6 p.m. You can also watch it on December 29th and December 30th. The 29th at 6 p.m. The 30th, you can watch it at 2 p.m. And you can watch that on Channel 3 or on High Def Channel 503. And reminder, you can also watch live games via pay-per-view through nktelco.com backslash sports. And you can w- watch this game and more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktelco.com backslash sports. I'm ready. Okay. Here with the post-game stats brought to you by Grand Lake Health is Mr. Jeff Henschen. Here are your unofficial stats for today's ball game for the West Carrollton Pirates. Zero of 14 three-point shooting. So no makes from three-point land, and they chucked up nine trying to climb back into this late. 0 for 9 in the fourth quarter, 0 for 14 in the game from three-point range. 11 of 24 from two-point range. Overall, Pirates were 11 of 34 from the field. Sydney, a very good 7 of 14 from three-point range at 50%, and they were 9 of 22, two-point shooting overall, 16 of 36, just under 50% from the field. Free throw shooting, West Carrollton, 4 of 9, and Sydney, a very good 17 of 22, including 10 of 14, in the final stanza to help them withstand and hold on to their fourth quarter lead and win. Rebounding, 28 rebounds for West Carrollton. 16 of those were offensive. They crashed the glass offensively, grabbing 16, turned those into a total of 15 points. Yellow Jackets, 29 rebounds, seven offensive, and they were able to convert those back for a total of seven points. But offensive glass rebounding advantage of the Pirates, outscoring Yellow Jackets 15-7 to seven in that category. Turnovers, each team, 14 turnovers in the ballgame. Individual scoring for West Carrollton, Antonio Robinson, seven. Kevin Davis, Jr., four. 
Kylan Ingram, eight. All eight of those were in the first quarter. He went scoreless the rest of the game. Could not get a shot, so Joppy took wow. some shots and had a rough start to third, but uh, all eight coming in the first. Zeros on the board after that for Kylan Ingram. Byron Freeman, six. Brandon Foster, eight. The leading scorer tonight, the sophomore, Joseph Ingram with 14 points. But he does foul out of the ball game in the fourth quarter. He spent a lot of time on the bench with foul trouble. Yeah, he did. But a nice ball game for the 6'6 sophomore, Joseph Ingram. Individual scoring for the Yellow Jackets. Game high honors. Julius Spradling, 25. 13 from Azon Steele. Six apiece from these guys. Ethan New, Mitchell Davis, and Jace Daniel. For New, his six all came in the fourth quarter, hitting two fourth quarter three-pointers. For Mitchell Davis, all six of his came from the free throw line. And Jace Daniels, his six points on two made free throws, one in the first, one in the third, their total of 56. All right, 56, Sydney, 47, West Carrollton. Very exciting, good game, a lot of action. Um, Sydney, turnovers, they hit their uh, season average of 13.8. West Carrollton came in averaging 16, so they're just a little bit below. But as you mentioned, those 16 offensive rebounds by West Carrollton, probably half of them was by Joseph Ingram. Or, or one of them. Or Kylan. Ky- yeah. And, and, the unfor- br- and unfortunately, they just couldn't convert. They couldn't make, They turned them back for 15 points. They needed 23 points in that category. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe new, because they missed some opportunities. In that third quarter, there was a stretch, back-to-back possessions. I think they had three looks. And two of those looks were at the rim. And another possession, they had multiple looks with a couple of them also at the rim. Got zero out of those. So they they were there. But, boy, and when the shots don't drop, you know, Sydney comes down to hit shots. That spread the lead open. And Sydney uh, good at the foul line in the fourth quarter. 10 of 14 didn't give the Pirates a chance to climb back. Forced them into shooting outside shots. And uh, they came in shooting 23% from three-point range. And they were 0 of 14 tonight. So not their strong suit. Yeah. But, uh, I think the strong shoot is rebounding. They just didn't capitalize as much as they needed to. What and they shot? Uh, what they shoot from two? Eleven of twenty-four. So they only came in averaging shooting thirty percent from two. So, yeah. all right, I think that's going to do it for us here. But first, we have to select the player of the game. Brought to you by NK Telco and Jeff. We're going to go with the junior number five, Julius Spradling. He finishes with game high honors at 25. He scored in every quarter. He had 16 and a half, finishes with 25. He was 8 of 14 from the field. Hit a couple, hit, well, actually hit three. One, two, hit three three-pointers and was 6 of 8 from the line. So did a little bit of everything and uh, had a couple rebounds as I was trying to keep individual rebounds amongst all this. So uh, he was uh, just a fine player for the Yellow Jackets tonight. Congratulations to Julius Spradley, our NK Telco player of the game. And I'll have to admit, if you watch the game, Antonio Robinson and Julius Bradling guarded each other, and they were at each other all night. I mean, smothering defense. So They but, probably know what flavor of gum each was yes, doing. Yes, yeah, the, they do. So that's going to do it for, here, for us here at Sydney again. Sydney won the varsity contest 56-47. to 47. The JV contest was won by... West Carrollton, 33-25. to 25. So for myself, Craig Louth, and for my partner, Jeff Henschen, thank you for watching this high school basketball on NK Telco Sports. Good evening, everyone.